YouTube 22K. Welcome to the Blast Furnace. Hot as hell in here. Yeah, man, but it's a dry heat. <laughs> boy, oh boy, it's fucking not. Wowzers. Weeks in the making this video. Um, 5th of June, we're at 33.6. Um, yeah, the last week, the first week of June, has been absolutely baking. Door shut, so that's likely to climb. I mean, last Thursday, I think it was, um, it was up to over 40 in it with the door open. My lap work laptop just shut down, overheated. Wouldn't <laughs> come back on. Um, yeah. So the last couple of weeks it's just been, I'll make a video about it and it's just been too hot. Now the stuff is fucking piled high, as I need to make the video, I just thought, you know what, it was forecast to be overcast, like you know sort of overcast cloudy, but it's doing this, where it comes out and it fucking bakes and it goes beyond the clouds again, so yeah, still too fat to fit in the vest, so no vest, no, no twat in the vest today. my god uh hope we're all well i'm doing okay injuries just getting old getting old um i think i slept funny or whatever and i pulled like or trapped a muscle in my back so I, well i couldn't turn my head to the to the right all day yesterday and stuff so it's easing off a bit now but yeah just uh an old man god i'm Brings back his old car boot today, this does. Fuck me, sweating like a motherfucker. I've got loads to get through. I, I don't, I'm not even sure I'm going to show it all, to be honest. Let's see how we get on. Um, it could easy, could quite easily just be um, a Nintendo video. All Nintendo. But I think that might be a bit boring for some people. <laughs> Still in my breath here. Um, hopefully, talking about this being hot and stuff, finally got the plans approved um, from the, the shitty fucking planning department. Uh, absolute joke. We had to change a few, one thing, um, which when I looked at it was, was, was fair dues. So that's, that's been given the green light, so we should get the official confirmation through next week we can then send that off to the mortgage people and then hopefully we can get the ball rolling uh, and maybe maybe by the time this video goes up that'll be in progress so you might not sit there you know this might be the last time you see me and things might be going on um, I don't know I've said this before in the previous video uh, yeah the whole process is filling me with dread I ain't gonna lie I'm um, having to sort of pack and store this stuff. It's, it's um, yeah, it's stressing me out. But that's we, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Eh? So we've got CEX has been good. CEX has been bad, but it's been all right. It's been good to me actually. I should say it's been good. I have actually got something from the booter. But again, I don't know if we're going to get it in this video. I've got. Some purchases off sort of Facebook people, friends, a, a sort of mini trade from somebody else. I might do that first actually. Um, and a, 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 an absolute bout of an upgrade all the way from, I want to say Croatia. I think it's Croatia. But again, from Facebook via a very good friend on there. And some eBay. We'll do um, the sort of the package to trade because uh, that's how we always do it here. I hope everybody's well. What I've been doing, I haven't been watching a great deal of YouTube. I've, I've done a bit uh, but because it's so f fucking hot in it. It's, it's so hard to concentrate um, and whatnot. So it's you know been bits and bobs. I've caught quite a bit with a few videos once it's cooled down. Um, who have been watching a lot of um, Geordie Slasher Gamer been quite entertaining Mike Shed 
Uh, I like Mike's shed. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. I can't fucking remember what I've said. Um, but they're like newish, newish guys. Mike shed, fucking brilliant. M fucking mad fucking mank. Mad mancunian. Uh, Geordie Slasher Gaming, fully enough, is from London. No, it's from, from, from Geordie Land, from Newcastle Way. I think it's Newcastle. I don't think it's Sunderland. Um, it's a proper Geordie. Who else have been watching? Um, that's new. Or old. Not seen a few people. Not, not, not seen uh, Jay Cybersnake Seven. Where's Jay? Uh, Daz Co Jones Smith. Like not sharing, but then he is sharing on his video. Um, he's doing these podcasts. I don't do podcasts. I don't listen to podcasts. I haven't got fucking barely got time to watch anything, let alone just sit there list, looking at a blank screen. So I'm not sure if Daz even watches it anymore, but yeah, I, I don't do pod But I did see that he'd done an actual sort of moving video, so I did watch that commented, but uh, I don't know. I, I think he's still screening everything and stuff, but yeah, it was nice to see Daz back. Um, oh God, who else has been missing by the rubs since? Oh, I can't think. Re Dave, Dave played games badly. Mr. Bads, there's loads of people gone AWOL. Well. Um, Fob and Danster. Big Mike, he's made a video actually not too long back. Um, Mark Burnout, we haven't seen much of him. Christian Van Tilburg, where's he? Um, not, what's his fucking thing? Real Generic Demon is just doing truck driving games. I did watch his um, very bad attempt, I think it's R type video. Again, these will all be fucking weeks and months old now, so they may have made videos by now, but at, at this point in time, they haven't, so he's probably less relevant. Anyway, let's let's crack on with this, because uh, there's lots of getting on. I might, might acclimatise myself, finally, so I feel like I'm not getting any hotter, though it's up to 36 degrees. I might, might just be acclimatising. Um, I, I can't think there's anything. Oh, events, events. Um, there's talk of Blackpool being back on in October time and stuff like that. I'm going to wait. I'm just going to see how they pan out. I'm not convinced yet. Um, but anyway, back to the parcel. This is from a good friend of mine, Ant. You might know as Retro Boovie. He's now called Mr. Tapman. So he, he pinged me a message on a, the old WhatsApp. He said, I'm interested in this particular item. I said, yes, mate. Let me have your PayPal. Send you some money over, you know, yada yada yada, bish bash bosh. And he said, Well, look, what have you got? What have you got trade wise? Um, and I've been on fucking Retro Chefs, um, swap your shit shop. I actually did all right on that, I sold some few bits. Um, again, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the last bit. He needs a proper sort of communication method. I don't know if you need like a, a scribe for people to sort of be a middle man. Because I had a pile of stuff I didn't know that we were there for. And I'd be buggered if I'm going back and watching the video again. So all of them have just gone back into the fucking the sale pile. But anyway, from, from Ant, um, when he sort of said, have you got uh, anything to try? I said, yeah, I took some photographs of um, bits and bats. So we did a swap. And I was only expecting one thing, and bless him, he sent me through, like, well, as you can see, this bag. I, the one thing would have been perfectly fine. I would have been really happy with that. Let's... Right, so the thing that I've traded him for is this. That's quite nice. I like this. I think he bought it, I don't know, maybe, he can't remember if he got it complete and won the car it traded to somebody else. I think, I'm not going to say if, who, who I think it is, if it is them. If he paid 9 99 for this, it's a fucking great deal. But it's fighting for 64 on the N64, and he's very kindly put it into a box protector for me. Um, and a really nice box protector. The ones I've got, they're cheap. Cheap enough, but the fucking flaps are bollocks on them. And you don't want your flaps bollocks. You might want your flaps licked, but anyway. Fell for you. Let's have a look. We can get them stickers off. That's quite nice. I, I, if I got that through from CEX, I'd, I'd be happy as pig and shit. Other than someone's fucking opened it the wrong end. Okay, it is all complete. Other than the cart, which I've already got. 
Somewhere now I put it. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, do. That's lovely. That's lovely, Ant. Thanks. But... So, Mr. Tatman, uh, links down below. Go and watch Ant. He's fucking mad as a bat. Mad as a fucking Wuhan bat. Although, uh, it didn't come from the fucking wet market, did it? The lying bastards. Man made. Here we go. Them's at no, no. Them's at no, no. Taking down the CCP. Um, yeah. As fucking Scott Brand, Sega Zombie, Retro Ralph our admin would say, chuff sick. Chuff sick. I didn't have a beer last night. I'm trying to, cut, I mean, trying to and failing miserably to cut down on the bit of drinking the way. It's just a heat in here. Um, so the week prior to that, I'd done all right, you know, didn't have a drink all week, got to sort of Friday, and now I had Friday, Saturday, a couple on the Sunday. But when it's so f fucking hot, it's just like, and it's so hot upstairs because the house, you know, here in the UK, the houses are built for the cold, so ours is like over insulated. So in the, in the summer, it just doesn't fucking vent at all. Um, and then I don't sleep the best at the best anyway, and it's, oh God. So I just get fucking, have a few pints and it knocks you out, but it's not the right thing to do, I know it's not, but what can you do? Anyway, what else is said us? We've got a Sega Saturn with a spine card, Neon, Neon Evangelist of Evangeline. Um, probably completely unplayable. This is all the filler that, oh, see, see what I mean about the sun? See, it's gone in now, and this is what it'll do, and it'll come out and it'll fucking... I think it might be a dating game. Uh, um, thanks for that, Ant. But these are the ones you see, like the um, Scottish Japanese Alan. Just have zero of them, and uh, d no one buys them. No one buys them. Unless you're a completionist. I'm not, there's no way I am going for a Japanese Sega Saturn fucking set. No chance. Oh, I can see what I'm doing now. It's cooled down. Um, what's he sent me here? <laughs> Mr. Tapman has just filled the bag with all this rubbish. I don't know what that is. It's like some semblance of an earthworm gym. Is that, is that filler? Is that packaging? Oh, we've got a couple of sleeves. Mr. Tony. Uh, back in the day gamer. He's after a few of them. You can never have enough dust. I said that to him. Bollocks. I'll leave. I'll come back and get that. Ooh. What's that? What's that? That's a DVD. Should have sent this to Bloody Big Dunk. Probably better suit to him. I don't. I'm sure, and you won't mind if uh, if if Dunk's interested. Big Dunk, Woolly Weeble. Um, the Nintendo DS Collector's Edition, and it looks like it's the official one from um, official Nintendo magazine or something. He really is Mr. Tatman, isn't he? He's never got a... Just making sure it ain't dog shit. It's a joke about dog shit. Now, guessing, looking at that, that looks like a joystick to me. Is it a cock-shaped... Is there a cock-shaped joystick for a cock? For the biggest cock on YouTube, as in not the map, you know, as in the dickhead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Rich King Rep Man is not on YouTube anymore. He's got the biggest cock on YouTube. Um, Jumpy 2D Rob can confirm or deny that. Now, who is the biggest cock on YouTube? It's probably me. <laughs> the biggest dickhead as well. Yeah, this is, this is a, a joy of sticks. It well, bless him. What the frick? That's so a bit of golden joist. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I've 
really don't. <laughs> it's given me like half a joystick. It's not even fucking micro switched. Well, that does feel like an analog stick. Boss, boss precision engineered. Wico. Made in USA, and you don't fucking see that very often now. Like you don't see made in England. Um, thanks. Hmm. The only thing I could think, other than fucking clubbing someone to death with it, is if it's an analog one, you, it might you might be able to repurpose the internals for the um, the Vectrex. I've, the Vectrex is a little bit of a back burner. Just because you can't fucking do anything with it, is he? Anyway, can't play it. Um, but I say I'm in that Vectrex group, and I know a lot of people do repurpose different um, sticks and stuff to use with it. And that just feel like an analog. I don't know. I don't. I don't even know what. It, I'll have to have a look at it. I don't know. Wico. Uh, someone obviously clearly didn't fucking like it, or and might have thought I'll save on packaging. I'll chop the lead. I don't know. I'm joking. Thanks for the fucking box game and them sleeves, oh mate. The other stuff, I don't know, it's just crazy. I thought it might be more 360 shit. Because he loves doing that to me. <sighs> fucking hell. Right. Um. Well, the game now, well, this particular copy is new, but the game isn't new. I'm trying to find it. Yeah, it's there. Because I just want to show you. <laughs> I'm not full of shit. Well, I am full of shit. What the hell is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I'm going to need that. Right. We'll do this one now, because it is Sega. Sega! Sega. It's Sega. Sega, Ma uh, Sega Mega Drive. <sighs> There's a handful of games that still aren't complete in my collection. And they're all big hitters. They're all expensive. Um, this one is... I was going to say it's getting expensive. I think it's always been, well, it's always been one of the rarer ones to sort of see complete. Um, but when it does show up, it is, it's always usually been less expensive. Um, so I'm still missing stuff like Alien Soldier, um, the Wily Wars, man all manuals, the Wily Wars manual, um, Punisher, stuff like that. Whereas this one, like I said, you don't really see it that often compared to the others. I mean, I'm not sort of saying nerf like to a penny, but this one does seem to be less common. And when you do see it, it's never usually complete. Um, and thus, the, the sort of value is like it's disparaged compared to the others, if that makes sense. Um, but I think this is now getting more scarce. So even like the manualless copies are like getting expensive as well. Oh no, Scott, take a zombie fellow, I've been around. Um, he was after this. I'm not sure where he sourced it from. But anyway, fellow admin, Mike, um, not on YouTube, and I forgot his last name, so I'm stupid. Mike Almond, he's got, he had a, a, a contact, a friend, that he's bought a lot of stuff from, on, I'm sure it's from Croatia. I don't think it's a Ukraine, I'm, I'm, it's not the Ukraine, it's Croatia, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's a Croat. Well, anyway, he had this game and he messaged me ages ago about it. 
and I completely forgot. Um, and then fair play, man, he pinged us, pinged us a message again, so I said, look, he's still interested. Um, and I was like, you know what, fuck it, let's just bite the bullet. So she could get us to the point now, like I said, with this game, it's going up and up and up. He did me a great deal, um, and he was like, I said to Mike, like, privately, he said, look, is he okay for friends and family? It's a lot of money. And he was like, mate, I've bought, like, me and friends of mine have bought, like, hundreds of pounds worth. Like, that. And obviously it helps the guy out at the other end, helps me out. He knocked the value down, there's no custom charge. You know, I couldn't fucking say enough. Um, and the game, you've seen it all, I've showed you this, but this is a complete one. It's Spider-Man animated. Blue Spine! Blue Spine! Sick zombie! Well, I have been much around. Galaxy Sega. Um, but this is honestly the manual is like it, I'll say I've ironed it, but my iron is terrible. Um, the only defect with this, and it's it's so petty and minor, but he did point out you can just see a bit rippling there and there, but I think that's the case. But anyway, just to show I'm not Billy Bullshit, here's one, here's one I prepared earlier. Um, so my case might be actually better. I think. I think the box is. Uh, but yeah, look. So there, there's. There's the other one that I have. I have. So I'll obviously piece together the nicer version. And uh, there will be, or there might not be by the time this goes live. Uh, this might have been moved on, just to offset the value. Because I say it, it's not a fucking cheap game. Um, so there's a few people I've got in mind I might reach out to and just sort of say, look, are you interested? Um, sound people, you know, do me a good turn. One good turn deserves another, as they say. Uh, fucking hell. So that's like a Facebook Thing. If we change the game on this, that's um jump cutty thing on here. I'll sort that over, hopefully that'll come through and that'll have a an intro. Um okay. <laughs> yeah, crack on, crack on. 38.5 now. Right, um what I'm gonna do is do this one CX for fuck's sake. Yes, yes. Get on with it. Right. Um, this is from CEX. There's a bit of a bit of a story. Uh, because oh, I forgot that now. Have I put that fucker? Ah, shit balls. Never mind. Right. Okay. So long and short of it is, went to the car boot the other week. Uh, I meant to speak to Lewis about his wish wash uh, last week and like he'll tell you anybody who goes to the car boot who's done this it's like one in a million that ever come it ever comes to fruition later you know have you got any game stuff no I haven't um, he goes but I do recognize you from like the car boot previously um, and I have got some gaming stuff at home so if you want to swap numbers and then ping me a message after that you know later on or whatever sort some out and I said to her where do you live and she said where she lives and it's literally in the same like town as me I said oh great okay fine I'll, we'll do that so anybody like I say anybody who does car but who's done them for a while and this happens you think it ain't you know you'll message them and it will just die or it's the wrong number or whatever or the worst one is when you don't get their number and you just give your number and you just don't ever get a message so this was on a Sunday I just pinged her a message on, I thought I'd do it on WhatsApp, because that way then, she can just take pictures and not waste everyone's time. Lo and behold, she gets back to me. She says, yeah, um, I just sort of said, you know, I hope you had a good day, I hope you sold some bits, this, that, and blah, blah, blah. Did you have a chance to, to sort through all those other stuff that you said you had? Yes, I've got them. Um, blah, 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 blah. I said, well, do you want to send me some pictures and what you're thinking in price? Because if they go turn around and say, look, I want a million quid, it, 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 there's no point wasting everyone's time. Weirdly, she said, "Well, look, I've got to go and do a couple of chores round near your area anyway, so I can I can pop round with them." And I'm thinking, "Okay, well, I ain't got a great deal of money left in my wallet from the car. But I mean, I didn't spend a lot, and it didn't take a lot." So she said, sort of listed what she had, 
uh, which is an original Xbox 360 and PS2. And I thought, okay, well, this is, you know, and she says loads of games. And I said this to, to the missus, so when people say loads of games, to me, loads of games is like boxes and boxes, but to someone, loads of games is like a bag of games. Um, so I didn't put too much onus on it. I thought, you know, that sort of manage my expectations. Um, and, you know, true to words, she popped, come round, she had a look at it, and she was honest enough, she said, look, 360 don't work, it's Red Ring of Death. Um, I said, she said there's a lot of them with the husbands. Uh, there's a P slim PS2 and an original Xbox and some games and this, that, and that. And I basically sort of said, well, look, the Xbox is, is dead in the water. Um, blah, 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 this, that, and the uh, the PS2 Slim was nice, but it was all just like kiddie games. Um, and the original Xbox um, had two decent titles, the rest were football. Uh, so I just sort of said, well, 30 quid, and she went, yeah, fine. Literally, I think she was expecting like a tenner for the lot or something. So she was happy. I, I'd looked at it over, and I thought, well, worst case, I, as long as I can chop some stuff into CEX, which is what I end up doing, the cr crux of this story here. So there's some S-type controllers with the, with the original Xbox, some wireless controllers with the um, 360. So you start adding it up, and as long as I can get my 30 quid back, you know, the rest is gravy, isn't it? PS2 works, what's that, another, I don't know, 30 quid, 40 quid, or whatever. And then a load of shitty old games that I, that I you know, firing to see yet. Let's just say the stuff wasn't that well looked after. I think the PS2 was look, looked after better, so I'm guessing that might have been hers. But the Xbox and the 360, which is obviously her husband's or whatever, they, they yeah, no. Um, there were some more right games that heavily scratched, blah, 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 so I picked some of the better ones. Anyway, long and short of it is, um, I was going to go over to a, a Coventry. So I took my daughter over there, she wants to look at Forbidden Plant, that there. I thought, right, I don't know what, I'll take some controllers over there, I'll take some games, two birds with one stone and all that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, a lot of the controllers, I didn't realise this, they're now tested everything, so I was like, okay, fine, so this don't work, that don't work. They, they, um, I got 15 quid for a handful of games, like, main was like Minecraft, so that's what I'm saying, you know, like 15 quid, that's half of them, you're paid. Um, two 360 controllers, took them. Blah blah blah. So I ended up with about like I had fourteen pound in from the games, and then with the two controllers and some else, another some else I had to test. I can't remember what it was. I ended up with like twenty four quid. So thirty four, thirty eight quid. I seen this in the window when they were like doing a test and stuff. So that was going to be said about twenty minutes. So I thought right. I looked around the store and then we had, when I got something to it and then come back again. But when I was looking around the store, I'd seen this game there and I thought, oh, I can't remember I saw that. I've seen that somewhere before. Anyway, we went walking around Forbidden Planet, yada yada yada. Come back. And that's when I worked, that's when I found because I thought, well I've got fourteen pounds. Worst case is I've got fourteen pounds to this game, which is eighteen pounds. I'll pay the four pound. I'm sure I haven't got this this this, this particular game. So when he comes back and sort of says, look. These ones don't work, these ones do, it's 24 quid. I said, right, can I have that game in the window? But can I have a look at it first? Make sure it's all there. It's in fantastic condition. 18 quid is what? I love that, thank you very much. <laughs> so, do the, do the swap over. And at this point, it's like, getting off, like, half 12-ish. So the daughter wants something to eat, so I said, look, we'll, we'll go and get you something to eat. I'll have a, I'll have a coffee. I think she had, we sat down at a noodle bar or whatever. She had a noodles. And I took, got this game out, and I was looking at it thinking, I've seen this game before. So, and I don't usually go on my phone. You know, anybody knows me, I'm not a phone guy. Although it's, it is odd, because I do work in IT, but I just don't like mobile phones. Um, I just don't like that invasion side of it. So I don't really use it for internet, but I, I thought, while well, I'm sitting here having my coffee, I went on to see Exercise site and typed in Wipeout 3. And those that know Wipeout 3, it's on, well, Wipeout 3 on the PS1. Obviously, I'm not going to buy the PS4 version. Um, <laughs> and I let out the biggest, like, gearly scream, whatever. My daughter looked at me and she went, going on there? I said, oh, you aren't going to believe it. Said, oh, it doesn't mean anything to her. And she just thought I was a robbing, scamming bastard. 
So the long and short of it, them's, no, and then it dawned on me when I'd seen this, which is on um, Eddie's Rolex Roller Cores video. And I'm sure he got this off Craig's ear again. But for the paltry, the paltry, <laughs> paltry cost of £18, which is obviously credit from like some shitty fucking 360 controllers and some out, I got me Wipeout 3 Special Edition. I'd sent the lads this, I was like, fucking caught them slipping completely and it is in fantastic condition I thought there was something missing from it um, being special edition I thought there might be you know, usually be like you get into the disc there but the special edition I think is the, um, the music so for those um, I honestly got this is fucking mini I think the only thing letting it down is the hinge is a little bit yeah the hinge there is just cracked but that's it. So they've knocked it down. So Wipeout 3, I think, Mint would have been like, I don't know, maybe 30 quid. Wipeout 3 Special Edition Mint is 60 quid. So just to prove, I'm not... Oh God, I can't see now. I'm not full of bully bullshit. Look. There you go. Honestly, I was, so, I was so happy for the rest of the day with that. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what a fucking score. Obviously, I'll just spot the case. I mean, to be honest, the case, yeah, it should get swapped. <sighs> By the day, that was. £18. <laughs> Essentially, I don't know what. It was some Xbox. It might have been. A, 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 tell you what it was. It was at um, two wireless controllers and um, um, an S-Type controller with the original Xbox. That was it. So literally from that woman's, that 30 quid from that woman. <laughs> and some 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 um, other voucher, whatever. And then we ended up going to another CEX where they had a copy of Uni Rally, which I needed the manual for. And that was complete. So again, I just use the vouchers, and I've got a nice complete copy of Uni Rally, and obviously a manualist copy that might be going to to fob or, or whatever. But if not, I'll, I'll find out for it. So all in all, it was it was a pretty good bloody day. I mean, that's like icing on the cake. Anyway, no, I'm usually a miserable bastard. But I was happy that day. One of the very few days I've been happy in my whole life. I said CX. Last couple of months, I've, I've done all. You know, I ain't, there's been some boo boos, and there's no point showing the boo boos. Um, but some of the stuff I've got from them, I've done all right from. Um, we may not get through one more. Oh god, it's 40, nearly 42 degrees. Look, I'll show you. Look, I'm not fucking kidding. Um, for my old mate Tony, because I think he's the only American guy that watches me, it's 106 degrees Celsius. No, Fahrenheit, sorry. So it's now 106.8 degrees Fahrenheit or 41 degrees Celsius. In here. That's what I do. Well, it might be the end, it could be the last. It might be the last blast furnace video. Might be. Depends how quick we can get stuff moving. Being really cool. I think the older I get, the more uncomfortable it gets because I'm too fat, I'm too heavy. I need to slim down. He says, "Why well, supping beer?" I just clean that out for me. But hey ho, we move, we we move on. We soldier on. For the people of YouTube. Right. Um, I'm just trying to think of what to do. We could do the car boot stuff, couldn't couldn't I? Could do the car boot. Because that's not it's not Nintendo. A lot of this is Nintendo. From me old from me good mate Ryan. Um them that watched House and the Booter in the past when the when the booters were good. When the booters were good back back in truck day. When booters were good, um My mate Ryan's a dirty reseller. Um, when he had a bigger wagon and stuff, he used to give me a lift. You know, nice enough, you know, didn't have to. 
help me out. This is got my bike, and to be honest, but I got my knees sorted. I think I mentioned before. I'm just going to go back on my bike anyway, um, because it's a perp. It, it gives me a purpose to go on the bike, and, and obviously it serves a double purpose because it. it might help me be a less of a fat bastard. Um, <coughs> but Ryan's into all sorts because he's a dirty reseller. So I never see any of the shit that he's into. Which is generally non non gaming to be fair to him. Because even he, he admits he, he knows enough to be dangerous, but not enough to sort of really know what he's looking at sometimes. Um he picked this up early early doors before we'd got I mean me and we and oh, fucking hell. Rob and me had stalled out last week because it was it was bank holiday, lovely weather. And um you know, we got there like just after six. Which, you know, if you're if you're there on the hunt R five, six o'clock. So yeah, we weren't overly late or whatever. Rob's Rob's not an early riser generally. Well, I'm too concerned, you know, got there just, just after six, like two minutes past six. Fuck me, the fucking field was full, was into the second field, I was like, what the fuck is going on here? It absolutely went mental, it was mental, it was, ma it was the biggest I've seen, this car, this carpet I go to, in like all the years I've gone there, probably bar the first, like, so we're going back over ten years now. Um, and it was the top end, and it was like, what the frick? Uh, but it's one of them weird ones, and I said this before. It was massive, but there was next to fuck all in it. Um, it was the oddest thing, you know. There's a few bits, and I'm just getting to that stage now where I just don't want to be hoarding crap. He says, "Well, buy it," but you know, it's like some woman had, had a wee, and I realistically, when I think back to it now, I think oh, I should have bought that. She wanted a wee. Had, like, it did have Mario Kart wee in there. Had the big fucking hulking balance board. A bag of stuff, she said 20 quid, and I tried to offer her 15, she said no, and I only had 20 quid left on me. I mean, we were stalling out anyway, so I didn't want to use all the change and stuff. And I just left it. I just left I think some guy bought it, but I just left it. I mean, I probably should have just bought it. But I don't know, it's just going to get to that point now where I'm just like, like unless I know, I'm like, oh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I just can't. I just, um, I just, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, but no. Anyway, mate Ryan, obviously, he'd, like, for him, it was, he'd done quite well, but he bought this particular thing, he said he paid 20 quid for it, he goes, like, I don't know anything about it, what do you think? And I said, well, it depends, because it's an early, it's an Atari, right, so it's a 2600. I said, depends what it, what model it is, what you've got with it, what games there are, because the Atari, and you guys will know this, that they're into the collection and, and maybe even ones that are buying and selling. People seem to think that old, every old, everything that's old video games is worth a fortune. It, it's not. And Atari is a classic um, case in point. You can still get brand new sealed Atari games. 7800, 2600 for a tenner. Right. It ain't like the Super Nintendo. It ain't like the NES. It, it's... It... it it might be endemic of where we're going to be in maybe 10, 15 years time perhaps with maybe the Super Nintendo and stuff where people like me are just going to die that are interested in them. So that actual reservoir of people that were willing to pay that money are just, just shrinks because they just die. Right. Because that's what's probably... I'll probably do a heart attack. I'll be honest. I fucking ache all the time. Chest pains, heart pains, fucking everything. Everything aches all the time. Um, so some people have this preconception that it's all worth like hundreds of pounds. It's not. But there are exceptions. Obviously, with the Atari, there are some very, very rare games, some weird and wonderful prototypes, um, some of the systems like your heavy, your, your heavy sixes and stuff like that. <laughs> but you need to know what you're buying. And to be honest. I, I'm not clued up on Atari. It's not. It's not a system I don't collect for, but it's not a system I actively collect for. If that makes sense. Um, so Ryan, so I thought he was just going to sell it. I said, "Look, oh well, I'll, you know, I'll give you because he, he's really he overpaid." He said, the person wanted thirty quid. He goes, "All the lizards are around to do." So when you take twenty, they said, "Yeah." He goes, "I just 
reacted and bought it. So yeah, to, but to be honest, sometimes having a fly out might work out. So we get to the car, I looked at it, I said, mate, I said, look, I think you're all right with your 20 quid. I said, the box, the tarry boxes notoriously don't survive very well. It ain't too bad, it's covered in tape. There's some games at the bot bottom, they had the power supply, had the controllers. I said, you do all right there. He just wanted someone to sort of make, you know, it's like if I was buying, because he's into sh his shoes and stuff like that, like if that's what he buys and sells. And it'd be like me buying a pen, not knowing if they're legit or whatever. But anyway, because obviously the, the, the car boot just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And he come to me later on, he goes, he goes, look, he goes, you always do me a good turn. Like you always like to see like trainers and stuff like that point matter. He goes, you, you, you could bomb, but you hand up to me. He goes, look, I paid 20 quid for it. I goes, he goes, I'll sell it to you for 20 quid. And I, like, I said, it's up to you, man. I said, look, if you're running short of money, you're running short of money. He went, well, yeah, to be honest, I am. I said, look, I'll lend you 20 quid. It's not a problem. But I think what he, he you know, he, and like I say, he's nice enough, man. He said, look, just you buy it for 20 quid. If you think it's worth 20 quid, you buy it for 20 quid. He goes, he goes I'll feel better because I've done the back, good turn back to you and you've got some. Uh, and I initially, because I say it was just in the boot and didn't want to make too much time because the, the, boot's, the car boot's still going on. Um, but when I've got it home and I've looked at it, and I messaged him afterwards and said, mate, I'm, I'm keeping it. Because so I was going to like keep some, some of the games and then just sell the system, but less all the tape and stuff, the actual box, it's, it's all right. I'll show you. 20 quid. From, from your old mate, Ryan. I have got one of these, but the box is jacked. I mean, it is covered in tape. Some of it is new tape, some of it is old tape. Um, but structurally, it's fine. It's not a heavy sixer. It's you know, it's quite lightweight. Um, it is a weird one. It has, I'm not going to get it all out. You've all seen a fucking 2600 Woody. It has got a set of pedals with it as well. I've got two controllers, got the power supply. Well, I thought the power supply was, um, you know, someone's just going to bought it from Tandy kind of thing. But it says Ingersoll on it, and I thought, oh, okay, so it's a fake one. Not a fake one, but you know, like a, someone's just bought it from Tandy. But this is the Atari video computer system from Ingersoll. So it looks like it's a London reseller or sell through company. I've never heard of them. So I'm not. Uh, Atari 26 was one of the first consoles I ever, I've, I've said this before, I've ever, I ever played. But I've not. I was too young to know what it was, if that makes sense. Not unlike the SNES and stuff, I could, I could tell you some information about the SNES, but not about the Atari. So I don't know what Ingersoll was. I'm, I'm guessing they bought the rights to, to sell the Atari, perhaps. Um, but yeah, it, it looks like it's all there. And within in said box, it was three games. Um, I think I've got all three of these, but they are boxed. One or two will need a swap over. Uh, first one, case in point, is um, Space War. Now with this, there's no, there's no end label. It's a black one, but, and there's no. Oh, actually, the end label's there. Look. Well, pretty to stick that on there. I'm not sure. I've got, I've got a, a rook. Who says rook? B Bill. Betty Be Ord. Ain't seen Betty Ord. Bill, Rook, I've got a Rook and Manuals for 2600 and I'm not sure if it includes that, I don't know, I'll have to have a look. Um, Missile Command, I'm guessing this is where the paddles come in. This is complete, I'm not going to bore you to death, but it is complete. And then last of all is um, the obligatory combat, which again is complete. I'm not going to bore you all. But not bad condition boxes, and um, these are obviously the uh, the original first releases. I think I, you know. I know they, they changed the labels and stuff like that. But that's from the car. That is fucking tails from the booter. <laughs> tails from the fucking booter. Fucking that one thing. <laughs> Atari for the win. Okay, well now we're up to 43.9 degrees, which is 110 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going fucking Chernobyl. 
turn into Chernobyl here at 40 odd degrees in the week my laptop stopped working um, so I may stop working soon as well but my climatise, I think the beer might be helping me to climatise I'm probably sweating out as much as it's going in right the rest is now no it's not all Nintendo it's not there's still some out there's fucking loads to get through guys I might have to chop it in half second half of it pisses a fart right tell you what we'll do we'll do it we'll leave the Nintendo all the Nintendo whites are going to be chomping at the fucking bit because I'm making them wait because yeah because this is not going to be Nintendo I'm going to take my me, me name off. No one's going to see it anyway. So no one cares. No one cares. No one cares. Right, anyway. Oh, I thought it overheated. Um, off of eBay. A friend of mine. Probably a lot of people on here. Old uh, Stodge, Stodge Canter. Roger Canter. Anyone was called Roger, it's called Roger the Dodger, Roger the Stodger. But you can't beat the beast. The beast from fucking Clacton. Fuck it up. Anyway, Roger Canter is not a beast. I don't think he's from Clacton either. Where's he from? He's down south, but he's not from Clacton. Um, so Rog put a post up. Um, a load of PC Engine stuff. Straight away I'm like, ooh, interested. And I've bought stuff from Roger in the past. You've seen videos, or maybe you haven't, because I don't think anybody fucking watches it anymore. This might be me last year on here, to be honest. I am getting, it's, it's wearing thin on me. And that's not because people ain't watching. It's just, yeah, anyway. But bother boy. Fucking. Um, Rog, they put some... PC engine stuff up again, a lot, a, a massive lot. I'm sure he buys from um, Macari as well, so maybe he's bought a massive job lot from Macari, and this is the stuff he didn't, he already had. And there were some bits in there that I'd admit, because the problem I've got, and this is again another reason why this fucking room pisses me off. I can't get to anything. It looks like it's all accessible. Where it, yeah, but all this is all jam packed with all of the shit. Uh, box Vectrex, blah, blah, and all kinds of shit, all in front of all these things. So it, it took me like I had to finish work to pull everything out to get here to then look at my PC Engine collection. And yeah, I know I should. I should fucking create a spreadsheet and just put all the stuff in there. That'd be the smart thing to do, wouldn't it? That's what fucking intelligent fucking human beings would do. But no, I don't do that. No, oh, no, just fucking throw it. And I went for <laughs> PC Engine stuff. And honestly, I'm like, oh shit, I nearly bought that again. Uh, Splatterhouse. I was watching Splatterhouse on eBay, I was going to buy it, because it's on bids. I fucking got it, and I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Eesh. Ooh. <laughs> fucking mental. Absolutely fucking mental. So I had to double check. You know, weirdly enough, the stuff that I wanted off Rog, I actually didn't have. But by the time I went back and replied, someone had nabbed two of the things I think I wanted. Um, but the rest of them were available. So I was like, fine, yeah, let's do it. Do it, do it, do it. Um, and then I sort of said, look, I'll sky you some of it now. I think it was mid, middle of the month. I said, I'll, I'll keep hold of them and I'll ping you the rest of it. Like, Rog, trust me, I'll trust Rog. All good. Ping the rest of it, sent them over, um, and I did sort of say to him, "Look, you've got three of these games here. Would you do it for this price?" He said, "What? Well, Caesar, you bought a load yet? Yeah, sound." So I got a little bit of a deal, you know, and they were cheap enough anyway, as they were. So here we go. Box of PC Engine. Beer, man. They're fucking dry. Pause.